Hey everybody, Tim Alatori with Domum here and... Jenna Fujisubo with Domum. And today we are here in Folsom for a walkthrough of a, a house remodel that uh, has, we've been actually working on it for about a year or so now. And it's one of our longtime repeat clients and he's a contractor. And so this is a really awesome opportunity where the owner of the home is also the builder of the home yeah. and he's getting to build his dream home. And what's really interesting about him is this house is a bit of his being able to dream again. Um, he actually bought this shortly after a, a really rough divorce mm -hmm. and his whole kind of his whole world kind of crashed in on him and he lost his dreams. Like it was just kind of all encompassing with that. And then this house was an opportunity for him to express himself and uh, just learn how to live again, which I think is evident as, as we're about to find out when we walk through it. Absolutely. Yeah. And what's great about this location is it's just right on the edge of that historical district in Folsom. So he's really paying patron to all of the historical elements that he brought in from other areas in Sacramento, but also that is local to Folsom too. Yeah. Everything from the bricks to the kitchen oven to um, just this building itself. It's uh, the original house was made of CMU concrete block. And we actually did an addition right behind us. We popped the house out, but it looks exactly mm -hmm. as the original house did. It's all very historically accurate to the 1948 period, I think, is mm -hmm. when it was built. Yep. And this whole neighborhood, in fact, this street, this, this street in Folsom was like the main kind of nice area of, of houses. Um, today, it's all a bit dated. Mm -hmm. And so it was really neat to see this house be restored and also augmented and brought into the 21st century. Yeah. So. So with that, we're going to meet with the owner right now, Brian Norwood, and uh, he's going to take us on the tour of the house. You ready? That's great. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. The Dean Way, this street, right. was Street of Dreams, 1950. Okay. Okay, so that's why it's so wide. Yeah. It was the Street of Dreams, and these were considered the, the high-end homes. Yeah. The original house is next door, and so when they built this, it was supposed to be a nicer home. Right. So to, it's cool to bring it back. Mm -hmm. You got you got a good deal on this place to begin with. I, I got an okay deal. I got yeah. an okay deal. Three twenty-five was not great. I should have got it for three hundred, but you know. Yeah. You're, you're buying the area so i can walk i can sit in the back and listen to the rodeo right and the music friday night yep. music at the park mm -hmm. i can walk to that elementary school i can walk to that junior high school right i can walk to folsom league bowl and go bowling mm -hmm. i go down that street and hang right go down Coloma, and i'm on sutter street i mean where else can you do that right the hard part of the kitchen was how do you uh maintain that 1948, 1950, I think this house is 1948, somewhere in there. How do you maintain that, bring the old with the new without running the old and be in the historic district and, right. and see what they allow? So we tried to capture cabinets that might be built in those days, yeah. right? The stove is 1948 O'Keefe Merritt. Uh, we custom built the hood, which is like 600 CFM, so it pulled yeah. right off your head if you needed it to. All new appliances, all new floor, all new cabinets. You know, the hammered out copper sink. So, you know, instead of just the ranch sink, mm -hmm. which everybody's doing right. smooth, we did the, the hammered. We cut the bar back and gave it a bar top. Yeah, this is fantastic. You know, I never consulted an interior designer. These mm -hmm. are all my ideas. Yeah. Um, well, well, there's a very unique aesthetic to it that, um, you know, I think a lot of times people just try to go vanilla mm -hmm. and just make it appeal to everybody. Yeah. And you've you've definitely put a style and a spin on this place, which makes it... That's my personality, there's yeah. no doubt. You can't change. This is me. Right. This is what I look like. This is what I think. So a couple of the things that happened in here, there was an insert in the fireplace we took out. Yeah. We sure stoned that. the fireplace with the brick and we did the wood on the wall. Um, the lighting, all the soft lighting is all new. And then the TV, uh, you know, right now is just right. kind of semi stage, but there's yeah. surround sound in all the rooms. There's surround sound nice. outside. There's surround sound in the master bedroom. This wall was here before. 
Yeah, that was one of the first things you did. Right? That was the first thing I did was that, but that's the cedar that's now on the trim on all the windows. Right. And watching the price of that go up, oh my lord mercy. Yeah, two yeah. of those boards, $350. Oh my goodness. Two. <laughs> so yeah. where did you get all the cedar from then? Hughes Hardwood okay. uh, in Ranch Cordova. So this was always the pantry. Right. What we did is we built the pantry just a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. uh, opened it up, gave it all new drywall, all the texture too, I should back up and say, we retextured the whole house. Right. We went to a uh, imperfect smooth, mm -hmm. which is a much better look. The other cool thing about is the it, barn doors. Is this a paper here? No, mm -hmm. that's. Uh, that's that's that, plaster as well? No, that's wood. That's called peanut wood. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. You can't buy that anymore. That's, that's the original peanut okay. wood. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Now, the barn doors, they close on their own. Oh, very nice. It's a very slick. And the guides. Yeah. If you go underneath, the guides are cut into the middle of the door so you never see them. Oh, okay. And yeah, so There's you can't get in the... Oh, I see it. Yeah, right in there. Yeah, but it doesn't it's come on the cool. outside like the right. traditional ones. So a couple yeah. more bucks. We trimmed out all the openings. Um, and then the light switches are push button. When I bought the house, this was a choice. This is a bedroom, but it right. was a choice to, of course, have all my clothes in one right, spot. So all my clothes were here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but this is really nice. I like how you trimmed up the window with the brick and pulling that in for the rest of the house. The well. windows are really slick. I mean, yeah. this is a pop up. This takes the lock off, and then boom. Yeah. And they need code. They let the air in. Mm -hmm. Easy to clean. There's a couple of these latches. The screen comes off. You can stand there and clean each side of the window. It's so easy. Yeah. This was the original master bedroom. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the addition right mm -hmm. here, where he's pushed out. Yeah, we pushed four feet out. And then the block, we're trying to keep the historic look and bring kind of that country feeling, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, not, not sure, the vintage farm country. Yeah, we switched from an eight inch. One for the bedroom. Yeah. So that goes there. And then another closet for this room that's been trimmed out with the ghost wood and has the peanut wood again. Yeah, that's fantastic. I mean, when it's closed door open, it really is a great look for the room. This room used to come just to here, and the rest of this is all added on. Now, this is where it starts getting fun. I get to show off a little bit now. Yeah, uh, another barn door. Well, barn door. it has surround sound, so you see the speakers. Yeah. Surround sound, the TV's on swivel, we have the barn doors again. The barn doors are not just bought, they're custom made for this house. If you remember when we had the house, we had this outdoor restroom, remember that? Yes. So we captured that outdoor, or you guys captured it. This is the outdoor walk-in shower, is now the indoor walk-in shower. So it has two heads, one coming in from the top, one coming mm -hmm. from the side, the valve allows for both. Yeah, I love it. This, um, it's like being in a, a hotel here, and this is a beautiful, beautiful shower. Yeah, there's a lot of room. Water closet. This is the only real door in the whole house. <laughs> Just door. saying. It's <laughs> yeah. A little privacy, please. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a. I love the sink and we did the mirrors. That's really yeah. Nice. So the concrete sink, the yeah. mirrors from Wayfair, and then the bulbs. I, you know, for us guys, shaving for me is an event. So mm -hmm. I need to be able to see. So I lit that thing up. So you get up in the morning, you want some coffee, right? But you could, so now you can see from over here, Natalie, you can bed, watch TV, mm -hmm. get up, sit on your little patio set, and there's the pool. Yeah, love it. Love it. Yeah, and it used to be when there you used to be guys terraces out here. This backyard used to drop off. Used to drop way off. We right. raised that like yard over feet. there about four and a half feet yeah. over there, and then we raised it here about. Uh, four plus three, seven feet higher, right? Here. Yeah, it's, you have a really usable outdoor space here, and and really this deck you made another extension of this room. I mean, this right you have a little seating area out here, and now it's just all part of this great master suite. You know, yeah. the doors when you guys were designing the doors, I remember thinking, you know, we were going to do a bigger slider here. Remember talking right. about that? Yeah. And then when I was done talking to Halls, is where we got the windows and the doors. Um, I said, no, we're, we're going to go with the bike. Yeah. It's a lot better look. And to opening right. this up, I mean, the way you guys did this, this became the highlight right here. 
Yeah. And I think for whoever lives here, because of this old town, it's hard to find a big master bedroom. Right. And that master bedroom is very capturing because right. you get this big, it's hard to find a big walk-in shower like that down here. In fact, yeah. I've never seen one. Um, yeah. It's just, they just don't exist. The houses right. are too small. So. Yeah. A dog bath. This is a dog wash. Very nice. You literally could park three cars in here if you had Priuses or something small like a yeah. camper or something right. like that. Mm -hmm. okay. So all new doors, uh, single light. The front door was single light with opaque, so you don't yeah. see it. So you said 1930s railroad ties. The railroad ties are from 1930s. The brick is from 1905. They're concreted in on the foundation. Yeah. And then we shear plied the back and screwed it together so it'll never move. Nice. It's literally, you can't push them over. Yeah. Um, and again, the stones come from um, Silverado. Right. And then this concrete, there's literally nine and a half cubic yards of concrete. Yes. This is 12 inch wall. 12 inch wall by yeah. three foot tall. So yeah. concrete weighing 4,000 pounds a cubic yard times nine yeah. is 36,000 pounds. There's 18 tons of concrete in this <laughs> circular wall. That's crazy. And it's just for players. But it's great. And we're able to keep this tree. And then this was all the addition. Yeah, it, it so looks original to the house. I mean, it tied in beautifully with the CME block. And historic district. So we pulled the house out four feet, if I remember the number right. We pulled the house yep. out four feet. And then all new windows. The windows are the Anderson windows that roll out. So yeah. the trim, the cedar trim, we tried to match inside and out. All new roof, all new windows, all new paint, all new HVAC, all new plumbing, all new electrical, everything. Yeah all brand new all brand new service panel brand new sub panel brand new heating brand new air brand new ductwork brand new everything basically so. a brand new house with the exception of the cmu walls and some literally a brand new house exception floor. of the cmu walls well the floor is all brand new yeah yeah the, i like these little details here you did with the trim on the, the awning too mm -hmm. the paint that's really nice yeah and so because the retaining wall is over 30 inches we had to put a guardrail so we chose yeah. to do a guardrail and if you look, there's a sprinkler head right there. So yeah. we're, we're going to tie the vineyard together there. Oh, very nice. As, yeah. So you have a guardrail Lines. and vineyard. And then yep. the, the reason we mounted the dirt at each one of these corners is so headlights to knock down the headlights. Oh, nice. At night, uh, all the lights, because of the energy code, mm -hmm. all the lights come on based on sensors, even the garden lights. And there's four lights that go up at this tree. They'll mm -hmm. come on at about 7.30 tonight, and you'll see those come on. Yeah? Yeah, they look pretty cool. Love it. Let's go inside. Well, and then also, like you were saying, you know, getting this square footage without paying all the taxes, you know, like school fees and all the improvement fees for yep. this kind of square footage would, yep. would have tacked on another $15,000. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Easy. So making it indoor outdoor, you kind of get the, the best of. This space people. is hard to double. You can't find this anywhere else. Yeah. Not, not in the little old town Folsom, you can't. Right. But in this area, everybody that has seen this, their jaws have hit the floor. <laughs> right. We've got the surround sound, we've got a seven foot fan, we've got the barbecue, the lighting. And I love how this, this whole structural system came together too. Yeah, this is incredible, right? Yeah. The other thing that happens too, so the house is 1,450 square feet and you're not going to have this giant great room as you see in these newer homes right. and this giant kitchen. So what we did is created the great room in the kitchen outside, right? Yeah. So we, you can come through and open all this up all the way from the front window, all the way out here is living area now. There's a pass-through window yep. at the kitchen is a pass-through window. So right. you've recreated living space without paying taxes. Right. Just saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. Got the TV out here, the barbecue, another sink. Yep. Same, same uh, hammered copper. Same hammered copper. Yeah, that's great. It's got a garbage disposal. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I had to go there. Um, the pole got completely gutted. We added um, a cobo shelf, a seating area over there, and a set of stairs to walk down. In the cobo shelf is a, uh, that little white circular thing is a plug that you pull out and you can put an umbrella in there. Nice. Then the water features in the back are controlled from my phone, so I just step on these and watch the water features crank way up. What's actually really nice about this property is you're above everyone. So in this backyard, right. you're not looking into someone else's yard. 
Yeah, that's on purpose. So we, yeah. to maintain the height of that fence in builder land, I went over and spent about three thousand dollars bringing the grade up to this house. So yeah. the city came over and said, "You can't have the fence that high." And I go, "Why?" Because we measured from his yard that's higher than yours, and it's higher than this. And I go, "All right." So I just went over and raised his yard. <laughs> nice. So the fence stays. Yeah. So is this cordon steel, or did you just treat regular steel like the rest to? Yeah, we let it rust and then we sealed it. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. And then these are tight enough on the center yep. that they meet the code. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can't get your no more than four inch four. gap. Yeah. Yep. So pretty spectacular area right here. We think this is the summertime tree. Oh yeah. So well it never really gets that cold here in Folsom either. You could really you could do this year round. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So what's your favorite part of this project? Part that uh, I, I, th I think two things the outdoor kitchen area mm -hmm. and the master bedroom. Yeah, yeah, those are the most killer parts of this project. And if there was something that you would have done differently, what would you have done? Like on the design or process? Super, super hard to say that one because I'm in love with the beams outside. I'm in love yeah. with this out here. Um, gosh, I don't know. This has been a pretty good project. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah. this is a I good mean, project. I, I love how it came together because, you know, it's, what's fun too is like a lot of times we do projects like this and then they get handed off to another contractor who's not the owner and, you know, things get kind of shortchanged and pulled back. And, and you just went all out in this. I mean, the, the concrete yeah. work and the just the materials and the finishes are just top yeah. notch. It's fantastic. So what do you think? You're the architect, you see these all the time. I like it. No, it's, it's like I was saying, it's fun to where, you know, we design this and we kind of have an idea of what it's going to look like, but then you really finished it out and made it, made it something special. See some personality. Uh, yeah. In the beginning yeah. of dreaming again. So this was my first big dream after the clouds cleared out and I just could start dreaming again, yeah. If you're showing the house, when you show the house, if you decide to sell it, we brought you something to just uh -huh. uh, make it a little homey and... Can uh, I eat it right now? Yeah, no, it's not edible, but uh, just oh. so when people come through, they just feel like, oh, yeah. It's oh, what a good idea, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Jenna, <laughs> what, what did you think of the house? It was incredible. He did so many different unique things details that I've actually haven't seen in a long time to be honest. Yeah I mean just like I, we're just marveling with the paint job here mm -hmm. and like the stucco the plastering job is just beautifully done yeah so so smooth and it looks almost like drywall you know just mm -hmm. that perfect imperfect smooth plastering finish and then the bolts and the washers on the inside I mean there's so many like you're saying so many little details yeah uh, what do you think of the kitchen it was very unique very unique kitchen. I thought having it that statement stove was really interesting because he really took some time to find that and just his little story behind it of you know going down to Stockton to figure out you know where this can come from and how he can put it into the design um, and then it also makes it a really cool uh, extension of the kitchen because it creates another countertop right. and more usable space. And we talked about how you know in a house like this there really is limited square footage and and I remember when we were going through the design talking about whether we were going to push out the kitchen and make a mm -hmm. bigger kitchen or leave the existing kitchen and we opted to keep the existing walls. All the existing yeah. CMU historic walls for the most part are intact. Um, there's a couple of exceptions of the master bedroom. We pop that wall out and then in the front here we pop that out. But both of those extensions really look uh, original to the house. But at the kitchen, opting to go with the outdoor room as opposed to pulling that out was, you know, was, at the time I remember it was a really tough choice, but I think walking through it, it really was the right choice. I think he captured what a local Folsom person will enjoy in that space, yeah. is that extension from the living and kitchen into this expansive great room that goes out to the outdoor right. space. And right now we're in mid-March and the weather is just absolutely perfect. I mean, this is why people <laughs> move to California, right? It's yeah. just, um, we've had great weather since like early February and it'll be great weather you know through the summer even when it gets hot that back area there it's shaded it's got a big fan yep. it's going to be really nice pretty much all year round you know maybe there's a couple of rainy days in december but even then you can just go into the cover and you still have your outdoor room you got a tv mm -hmm. you got a refrigerator a sink you know you got a 
I mean, it, that's like the place to be, I think. It is. And he really thought about also the safety for children. Right. Because this is a really a residential neighborhood with single family homes. and. He's really close to not just an elementary school, a middle school, and a high school. So he was thinking about the materials that he's using and why he was using certain purposes of the paint or a, a, a finish type that he really thought through those processes. Mm -hmm. And that was an interesting way to approach it, too. Right. So one of the things I love about this project is, like, Brian was the owner and the contractor, right? And so he knew exactly what his trade people could do. He knew what people to call for the look he wanted. So everything from like these custom fabricated, you know, steel brackets to this this retaining wall. He was telling me he he took just two by sixes and a two by four, two by six, made this pattern, and they were just from Home Depot. They were pre-primed white boards, rough sawn lumber, and then he he ripped the boards off, and some of the white remained, and he quickly sealed it. So it gave this kind of aged efflorescence look to the concrete, but this isn't natural efflorescence. It's actually paint from the boards. <laughs> that just make this whole thing seem old, yeah. even though it's brand new. Well, it brings that historical character back to what it could be something really industrial. He made it still tie back to that. Right. Yeah, I mean, you, anytime you use corrugated metal, it, it can feel <laughs> really uh, kind of warehouse, downtown Oakland. But the combination of the metal with the woods and the, the stained concrete and mm -hmm. the so I mean, this plaster, the texture on this plaster, I can't get over it. It's just so yeah. nice. It, you so just want to go up and touch it. Uh, just beautifully done. So this is a fun project, and we're doing another one with Brian coming up. Absolutely. So, so stay tuned. We will do another walkthrough on uh, another one of Brian's projects in the future. Yeah. So with that, I'm Tim. and I'm Jenna. And uh, thanks for joining us on this walkthrough of this finished project. If you've enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, or however you're following us on whatever platform so you don't miss our future videos. And if you have a project you'd like us to help you with, feel free just to give us a call or check out our website. And with that, we'll see you next time. Okay, thanks.